We can't keep saying distribution of food. It will get to a stage we need to cultivate and be able to make our own food. You can't keep giving a man food. You have to teach him how to fish. But most importantly, it will be bringing about production in the Nigerian economy. Today, we are not getting a lot of resources because the Nigerian economy is not producing. Most of the things we do on the agricultural value chain, we still import largely. We still import chicken and we have poultry here because we can't meet the demands. How about we build that capacity to be able to meet the demands? This current administration is one administration that does not care about the plight of Nigerians. And we have been seeing it from the way they operate. Take for example, when President Sinibu was sworn into office, that was the day he announced that he's going to remove subsidy without contacting anybody, without contacting economists, without contacting people who are already in the game. He just went ahead to remove fuel subsidy and left Nigerians in pain, left Nigerians in, in sorrow, left Nigeria in hunger. That, and that has led to the death of some persons. That has led to Nigerians wailing and crying. And the only solution this particular administration could come up with is palliative and this palliative is that they are distributing five truck of rice to different states and then five billion naira to different states to for the governors to share to people of their state and nigerians did not welcome this at all because people are already wondering we've seen what has happened in the past palliatives have been given to governors to share to the people and at the end of the day the people don't get to see this palliative at the end of the day it will end up just as news on papers on television or on radio and the people don't get to have access to this and regardless of what the people are saying this government is not paying attention to them at all they have said it and that's what they are going to do i will allow us to watch this analysis on arise tv concerning the we have our uh, uh, palliatives five billion five billion now to each state your take on this story yeah it, it's uh, too little almost too late um and it's as simple as this cost of food is rising cost of production of food is rising just a couple of days ago, farmers in Ogun State decided they were going to demonstrate in Yewa axis of the state, and they went out to demonstrate to say that we are struggling. This is not a case of let the poor breathe anymore. Even the middle class needs to breathe. They are struggling. Everyone is struggling. Even the upper middle class, they're struggling as well. We have a situation where farms are shutting down. I have relationship with farmers because I'm close to them and I have families, family members who are farmers. Poultry farmers are struggling to the point where they're shutting down. They can't afford the cost of uh, the feed that they need for, their, uh, for the uh, poultry that they have. And other people are struggling as well. So we're in a situation where 5 million or 5 billion naira as of today is a little too little and it's coming a bit late in the day this is what the likes of Rufai and Ruben and yourself have been saying on this show forever and a day that this is a decision that should have taken days ago it should have been taken weeks ago actually the decision to remove subsidy is an excellent one but it's not one that you can do without putting in the arrangements and the palliatives so we're in a very very tight corner i don't know how the governors are going to distribute five billion in any state of the federation it will be good for them to be as transparent as possible so that the media can see what has been done with the money but i am not sure where that will go i don't know what your thoughts are all right I mean, largely, uh, I share that sentiment. And it has to be said, we know the problems with Nigeria. We know the antecedents of our governors. Many times in the past, when they've been given a chance to be able to distribute necessary aid for the people, they became worse than the problems themselves. You remember the case of COVID-19 and the COVID warehouses? People had to go to those warehouses, bombard those warehouses to be able to get things to eat. You remember how shambolic the distribution was during COVID? And now you're giving those same governors a bag of rice, thinking they'll distribute. Hell no, they're not going to do it well. They are not going to do it well at all. Even the times we have given the governors money, I remember the bailout fund. 
so that a lot of them could pay salaries. How did they do it? They were shambolic in that too. So we are not expecting anything. I think the only thing that will cut the trace for us is if we put in a specific layer of accountability as regards how the distribution is done. And that's why there should also be overseen of this by the humanitarian ministry. I'm better I do, this is your first real test. The government should allow humanitarian ministry oversee this and see how the distribution channel would actually go. Also, various emergency bodies that will handle distribution, NEMA, we should be able to allow them oversee this and this will go. And they should forensically audit the distribution process. When I saw those bags of rice, all I'm seeing in my head is hope it's not going to go to party members and party surrogates. And this five billion, we should watch it closely. At least it's a good step to be able to bring forward a palliative. It's late, yes, we admit, but it's a good step. And we commend them for the same, because if they, if they had not done anything, we would also come here and say well, they had not done anything. At least we commend them for doing what they have done this time around. But the question is how far reaching? The other part of the palliative the president announced in his speech should be done. Most importantly, the cultivation. We can't keep saying distribution of food. It will get to a stage we need to cultivate and be able to make our own food. You can't keep giving a man food. You have to teach him how to fish. But most importantly, it will be bringing about production in the Nigerian economy. Today, we are not getting a lot of resources because the Nigerian economy is not producing. Most of the things we do on the agricultural value chain, we still import largely. We still import chicken, and we have poultry here, because we can't meet the demands. How about we build that capacity to be able to meet the demands? We import things like gari, despite the fact that we try a lot of cassava. We import rice, or be it through the borders. It's not on the books anyway. Again, that's why they say oh, uh, we, have, we have rice sustainability. But we still import. We import maize. We import everything. Can we build capacity where we can feed local production en 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 entirely and also be able to export? That's the biggest challenge for us. And the government said it was going to give subvention to be able to plant across hectares. Have the state governors marked those 150 hectares of land to be able to make those planting operations done? These are multiple questions. But the truth is, it's good what they have done. Better late than never, I'll suggest. Late anyway, but better late than never. But the implementation is the most important thing. Absolutely. But let me differ with you slightly in terms of better late than never. Yes, it's good that they have released 5 billion naira, but I would say that it is almost tantamount to a drop in the ocean, and so the effect would not be felt or if hardly felt. Since the removal of fuel subsidy and the suffering on the masses has often been likened to the birth pangs of childbirth, when you're in childbirth, you don't give paracetamol to a woman in childbirth. You would give a strong anesthesia like um, a spinal block or an epidural block, just so that it can, be, it can match the level of pain. Yes, I know that there are staggered announcements in terms of the plans of the federal government to the response of, in, in response to the people. However, the first thing was that after over 75 days of this announcement, then you come up with trickles. What this presents to the state governors, unfortunately, is actually more of a challenge than a relief. Because how do you distribute 100,000 bags of rice to a state in a state like Lagos State, where there are about 20 million people? Where do you begin? Which local government will you serve first? How would you allocate? What would be the sharing formula? It would leave more people feeling disadvantaged. And then when there's a rush for scarce resources, you turn people into, um, you know, people start scrambling and then there are fights and there are things. I believe that this... Despite the fact that, okay, it's one response from the federal government is so insignificant that it might actually cause more problems than bring, it, and bring about a solution. We'd wait, we've waited. The federal government have asked Nigerians to be, um, to be patient. They are working. They are, um, they are thinking. And then we come out with an announcement like that. At best, I believe it's quite disappointing. A few other things, as has been mentioned, in terms of what can be done, we need to critically think. Then this $800 million, what is the delay? I understand that there are um, you know, consultations as to the best way to distribute this. Should it go more into infrastructure? Should it be conditional cash transfer, which the governors are insisting on? It's, it's, but we have to find an announcement. People are suffering. You cannot give 100,000 bags of rice, 40,000 bags of maize and fertilizers for um, a population of about 200 million people, or at least in different states, it, it is abysmal at best. 
And then moving on to implementation. When you look at private organizations, what they have what we call implementing partners. Who will be the implementing partners of these governors? Are they going to channel these resources through their local government um, chairman? Or how will this work? The principle, as has been mentioned, is in the implementation. A little, I don't know how the governors are going to go about distributing this. And this is what also pushes for them just leaving it in the storehouse. Because when they think of the enormity of trying to allocate scarce resources, it almost, there's almost no point to going about doing it. And so this is pushing it back again to the federal government. A little too, um, too late and almost nothing because when you give a pregnant, a woman in labor, Panadol or Paracetamol, it is almost a slap on her face. It is ridiculous. It doesn't go anywhere. We just hope that this administration will listen to Nigerians and we get to understand that we want the best for ourselves. We want the best for this nation. And this palliative is not the solution thank you so much guys for watching this video i would like to hear our thoughts concerning this video in the comment section please do well to like this video and please if you've not subscribed to our channel do well to hit the subscribe button so you get notified whenever we post a new video